Okay, today we're going to do a full Mac computer clean and maintenance, which will include checking the computer for any possible malware, spyware, or viruses. Um, and so let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to want to do is come up here and click on the Go option and select Utilities. You look for the Disk Utility option, double click on it. Once this window comes up, you'll select Macintosh HD, and we'll first start by verifying the disk. As soon as the verifying disk permission has gone through the process, next thing you'll want to do is come over here and click on Repair Disk, which I will go ahead and do right now. As soon as the computer has finished the repair option, we're going to come over here and select Macintosh HD, one option up, and then we are going to verify the disk permissions. Okay, as soon as the computer has finished verifying the disk permissions, the next thing you'll want to do is repair the disk permissions, so I'll do that now. Once the repair disk permissions has finished through the process, you can go ahead and close the disk utility. Next, we're going to need to use a couple tools to go through and clean the computer of any garbage as well as any possible uh, malware, spyware, or viruses on the computer. The first tool we're going to need is CCleaner. There's a link down below as to where you can download this free uh, tool um, to check the computer for any garbage. Once you have CCleaner up, once you select the first tab, just make sure that you have the following boxes checked. Your applications list will vary depending on what applications are on your computer, so it's going to be kind of up to you what you clean out. However, when it comes to the web browsers, make sure you're not deleting any saved information out, as that is information you don't want to lose. Once you have all the correct boxes checked, go ahead and just run the cleaner. We'll go ahead and do that right now. All right, once it finishes cleaning everything out, it's going to give you a list of what it found. Um, this computer obviously wasn't very dirty to begin with, so generally the, the results are going to be much higher than this. Um, but again, it will give you a detailed list down here below, which you can go through to see what it cleaned out. Once that's finished, you can go ahead and close CCleaner. The next tool we're going to need is a scan called MacScan. Uh, again, there's a link down below where to, where as to where you can go to download this free tool. Uh, make sure you hit yes as to the mode. When this comes up, make sure you run it as a demo. You want to come over here and click on MacScan to uh, check for any updates. You want to make sure that the definitions are up to date. Once that's finished, we can go ahead and click on scan. We'll just do a quick scan, and we'll go ahead and scan the computer for any possible infections. We're going to minimize that so it can run in the background while we continue uh, working on the computer here. The next step is we want to make sure everything's up to date, so we're going to click on the little Apple icon, and we're just going to select the App Store. As soon as the App Store is up, we're just going to come over here and select Updates, and it's just going to check to see if there's any Thing that needs to be updated on your computer. Now you can see that it found no updates needed on this computer. If it does find any that are needed on yours, it will list them. Just make sure you go ahead and update them. Once finished, you can go ahead and close the App Store. The next thing we need to do for our cleaning and maintenance is go through the web browsers. The main thing we're looking for is any uh, malware related add ons, extensions, or plugins, as well as we need to remove any toolbars. First one we'll look at is Safari. I'm going to go down to Preferences. And under Extensions, it will list any uh, extensions that you have installed on Safari. Now again, the less the better. You can see on this one, we have zero, which is the best um, because there's less garbage. It's going to run and perform much better. Uh, but the other thing is um, that you want to look for is specifically toolbars. Anything with the word bar or toolbar needs to be removed. They're, they are generally related to malware and can allow additional malware into the computer. Um, so again, you can see Safari looks good, so we're going to go ahead and close Safari. For Chrome, we're just going to go to the settings. We'll hit extensions. You can see we just have the standard Google extensions, nothing additional. 
which is usually best. Um, you want to go through and clean out and remove all the garbage. Again, keep an eye out for toolbars. Uh, those need to go. Close Chrome. And then for Firefox, we're going to come over here and click on Add-ons. Uh, we're going to select Extensions. See, everything looks good there. We're going to select Plugins. Um, here you can set to whether it's always running. Now, generally, you don't want uh, something always active. So, for example, here, um, we're just going to go ahead and turn that off. We don't need it. Um, and then you're just going to want to go through the list. If you don't know what something is, just Google it. And uh, that it will give you a detail as to what it is that you're looking at. Generally, it's best to have it set to ask to activate rather than always activate. Uh, but again, it does depend on what the plugin is. Once finished, you can go ahead and close Firefox. Check the computer to see if there's any garbage programs that you may or may not have installed on the computer. So here in the Finder, we're going to select Applications. And this just gives a list of all the applications that are on your computer. So you can go through that list and remove anything um, that's just garbage that you don't need. Again, keep an eye out for anything that says toolbars. You want to get rid of those. Um, and I'm also going to put a link below as to a website where you can go to check to see um, what a program is and whether or not it should be removed. Now, the easiest way to remove a program is simply just to click on the icon here and then drag it down to the trash bin down here in the bottom corner. However, if we want to be thorough in removing a program, what you're going to do is, for example, I'm going to remove Skype, so I'm going to type in Skype. There's a little plus sign here, I'm going to hit plus. And we're going to want system files, but usually it's not going to show up in this list. So we're going to select others, type in system files, select it, hit OK, change it to are included, hit a plus. We want name matches Skype. Now, we don't use Skype on this computer, so there's not going to be a whole lot of system files that it's going to find, but generally it's going to come up with a list. Um, make sure, again, that your settings look exactly like this. System files are included, name matches, and then exactly uh, Skype, which is up here as well. We're going to select everything and drag it down to the trash bin. That will get rid of everything. So that's a more thorough way to remove a program off the computer rather than just dragging the icon. Next thing we want to do is check the login items. We're going to click on the little Apple icon and select System Preferences. When this comes up, you'll select the user and groups option down over here. And what we want to go to is the login items. The longer this list is, the more items and applications your computer has to start every time you turn the computer on. It's best that there's nothing on this list, unless it has to do with your security or possible online uh, backup. Uh, program that you may have running. What we first want to do is unlock the padlock. Select the app application we want to get rid of. Hit the minus sign. Same here. And now those will not run when we turn the computer on unless we select them. Next, let's go back and we're going to ch check the security and privacy. First thing you'll want to select under security and privacy is firewall. Just make sure that's turned on. Um, if not, unlock the padlock, turn it on, and then also we strongly recommend that you use File Vault. Um, what this does is it encrypts the data on your hard drive. Um, again, it's by default, it's not going to be turned on. We strongly recommend doing that so in case your computer ever gets stolen or it goes missing, your data is protected. So 
To turn that on, again, you'll have to make sure the padlock is unlocked, and you'll turn it on. Depending on how much information you have on your hard drive, it can take several hours to go through and encrypt everything. Make sure you do not forget your password. Write it down if you have to. Um, you're going to need that. If you lose it, you will lose access to your data. Once Max Scan is finished, it's going to list any threats it may have found. It will list the type if it found anything. This result um, came up, or this scan came up with zero results. We're just going to hit done, and then we're going to go ahead and close Max Scan. In addition to Max Scan, you're also going to want to have an antivirus running on your computer. There's a lot of um, misunderstanding that there are no viruses for Mac, which is not true. You absolutely do want to have some sort of antivirus software running on your Mac. Down below I've listed four free antivirus um, softwares that you can download um, that do a pretty good job. If you're looking for better protection for a paid service, we recommend using Kaspersky or Bitdefender. I have AVG running on this computer. I'm going to go ahead and open it. Whenever you use an antivirus software, you first, first want to make sure it's up to date. I'm just going to go ahead and check for updates right now. Whether you're using Avast, Avera, or Sophos, or something else, always make sure it's up to date before you run any scan uh, on the computer. Once it says we are up to date, we're going to go ahead and run a scan. Uh, this can take anywhere from a few minutes to several hours, depending on how many files you have on the computer. Again. We cannot emphasize enough, it is not true that there are no viruses for Mac. That is not true. As soon as your antivirus scan is finished, it will display any results, if any. Um, once you've finished with that, you should be good to go. Um, you'll notice that cleaning and maintenance for a Mac is much shorter, much easier than a Windows PC. Um, but it does need to be done, um, so make sure you do it periodically. If you have any questions, comments, make sure you list them below. We do respond. Be happy to help you out. Thanks.